You know what PSC officers look for during an inspection? From the validity of the International Ship Security Certificate to the approval of the Ship Security Plan, Port State Control Inspections are a comprehensive process that ensures compliance with international maritime security regulations. They examine everything from security equipment and systems to training drills and incident reporting. So why don't we take a closer look? Let's dive in to understand these 10 areas related to security files that PSC officers might focus on. Firstly, the validity of your International Ship Security Certificate or ISSC and the approval of your Ship Security Plan or SSP are fundamental. A valid ISSC is not just a piece of paper, it's a testament to your ship's compliance with the International Ship and Port Facility Security Code. It's the proof that your vessel meets the necessary security standards and is prepared to handle potential security threats. On the other hand, an approved SSP is your ship's personalized security blueprint. It's been given the green light by your ship's flag administration or a recognized security organization, meaning it's been deemed adequate and covers all necessary security measures. These vital documents are the backbone of your ship's security. They are the first things that port state control officers will look for during an inspection. Without these, your ship could face serious penalties. Next, the CSO's contact details are crucial. They serve as a linchpin to maintaining a secure environment on board. It's imperative that these details are up to date and readily available. Why, you ask? Well, in case of a security incident, swift communication with the CSO can mean the difference between a resolved issue and a full-blown crisis. It's all about bridging gaps and ensuring a smooth flow of critical information. Remember, communication is key in ensuring security. Moreover, understanding your ship's security levels and associated procedures is essential. Why, you ask? For starters, the security level of your ship is directly linked to the International Ship and Port Facility Security Code requirements. This level signifies the degree of threat your ship might be under at any given time. There are three security levels. Level 1, the lowest, means normal security measures are in place. This is the level at which ships usually operate. Level 2 indicates a heightened threat requiring additional security measures. And level 3, that's when a security incident is imminent or has already occurred. During an inspection, port state control officers will review your ship's security procedures for each level. They will ensure your ship is prepared to handle and respond to varying degrees of threat. They'll check if the procedures are clearly documented, communicated and understood by the crew. Your ship's security level is a direct reflection of its overall safety. So understanding and maintaining these levels is paramount. Additionally, your ship's security equipment and systems are under scrutiny. Port State Control Officers take a keen interest in these, as they form the backbone of your vessel's safety measures. Let's talk about what they're looking for during an inspection. They'll examine your ship's access control measures. These include things like security barriers, locks and alarms. Are they functioning as they should? Are they being used properly? Next, they'll assess your closed circuit television or CCTV system. Is it providing clear, comprehensive coverage of key areas on your vessel? Is the footage properly monitored and stored? They'll also evaluate your communication systems. These are crucial for alerting crew members to potential threats, coordinating responses and communicating with the outside world in case of emergencies. Remember, these systems and equipment aren't just for show. They need to be functional, well maintained and used correctly to provide effective security. Your security equipment and systems are your first line of defense. Another point of focus is your crew's familiarity with security procedures. It's not enough to have policies in place, they must be understood and executed correctly by everyone on board. This is where security training and drills come into play. They ensure that the crew is well versed in the workings of the security systems, the procedures to follow in case of an emergency, and the roles each one has to play. Equally important is the procedure for reporting security incidents. It's crucial that any security breach or potential threat is reported promptly and accurately. This not only aids in the immediate handling of the situation, but also helps in analyzing and learning from the incident to avoid similar occurrences in the future. Remember, a well-trained crew is your first line of defense against security threats. Training and preparation can make all the difference in a real-life incident. Your ship's access control measures and identification systems are also on the checklist. 
The importance of these aspects is paramount in maintaining the ship's security. Port State Control Officers take a close look at how the ship manages access control. This includes the issuance and control of ship's identification cards, visitor control, and gangway security. A ship's identification cards are not just proof of identity. They are a critical tool in ensuring that only authorized individuals have access to the vessel. Visitor control is another key element. All visitors should be properly logged, escorted, and their access to sensitive areas should be restricted. Lastly, Gangway security is crucial to prevent unauthorized access. This includes maintaining a watchful eye on the gangway and implementing measures like security checks. Remember, secure access control isn't just about keeping unwanted visitors out. It's about protecting everyone on board. Secure access control is essential in preventing unauthorized entry. Lastly, your ship's security-related documentation should be up-to-date and properly maintained. These documents are more than just paperwork. They form the backbone of your ship's security framework, providing a history of security inspections, maintenance, and audits. They help in identifying patterns, improving procedures, and ensuring compliance with the International Ship and Port Facility Security Code. So don't overlook them. Remember, proper documentation is a testament to your ship's commitment to security. 1. They will verify that the SSO on board the ship holds a valid certificate issued by a recognized authority, which demonstrates that the officer has completed the required security-related training and is qualified to perform their duties in accordance with the International Ship and Port Facility Security ISPS Code. So we've covered the 10 areas that PSC officers might focus on during an inspection. From confirming the validity of the ISSC and approval of the SSP, to the availability of the CSO's contact details. We've delved into the importance of maintaining security levels, procedures, equipment and systems. We've also discussed the significance of security training, drills, incident reporting, access control and up-to-date security-related documentation. Being prepared can help ensure a smooth inspection and demonstrate your commitment to upholding international maritime security standards. Thank you for watching and I wish you a bon voyage and safe travels. I hope you found this information helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care and have a great journey.